And I can't wait so we can break apart to hear me if I seem a little unimpressed with this an antisocial pessimist. Hey guys, Mankind here bringing you episode 5 of my Trade Skill Master tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use custom price sources uh, and how to create them. Now you may be asking yourself, well, what is a custom price source? Well, first of all, what is a regular price source? Um, if you watched episode 2, um, where I go over the auctioning operations and how to set up groups, I kind of go into what price sources are um, by default. You can check that video out. Here, I'll put the link for that above here. Um, but I will go over it fairly quickly. Um, a price source is, if you look at my tooltip, anything under TSM auction DB in my tooltip is um, is part of a price source. Minimum buyout, market value, region market value, average, region sale uh, average, and so on. Each one of those items is a price source Im imported through Trade Skill Master's desktop application. And what we're going to do is instead of just using one of these price sources we're going to make a custom price source and we're going to kind of do some math to average out some of these numbers uh, together so we can get one cohesive number uh, so to do that you're going to open up trade skill master you're going to be under the tsm at, uh, features and custom price sources now if you'll notice i have mine right here I just named it mankind and this is my custom price source it's kind of big but I will go over it with you guys uh, and kind of show you a breakdown of why I have it set up the way I do so what you'll do is just click on sources and type in a name here I just made one for test just type it in press enter and you'll notice that the custom price source box is empty now you will see that when you do click on this box you get this little window to come up and there is some information here that will kind of help you as far as examples of what you can use to, uh, to make your custom price source. Um, and there's also a link on their website where they have a kind of a breakdown of a lot of this stuff. Uh, but I'm going to go right into it and show you. I use the average function, which is ABG and then uh, parentheses. Anything you put inside these parentheses is going to be averaged together. In this case, I'm going to be using five different numbers. I'm going to be using the market value, region, and global market values and sale averages. Um, to get that started, the first thing I'm going to put in is for the DB market, uh, which is your market value. And you're going to put a, a comma and a space, and you just use each source. So the next one I'm going to be doing is uh, DB region market average. And if you don't remember what these codes are exactly, if you, I might have to close out of this to give it to my chat, but if you type into your chat slash TSM sources, I'll show you my chat. That's going to give you a printout of all the sources that you can use. And like I said, I use DB market and I just did uh, DB region market average, but these are the codes that you'll want to use. Um, let me open this back up. Price source, of course, and it deleted it because I didn't press enter. So average DB market, DB region market average. Um, we're going to do the DB region sale average and DB global market average. And the last one is DB global sale average and the parentheses press enter. That's where we start. So if we were to just to take this price source here, it would take all five of these um, price sources, average them together. And that, that would give us our base, our base price. Now we had to take it one step further because some items don't have all five of these price sources. Like if I hover over this piece of transmog I have here, Notice I have all the price sources, which is great. It's going to work out perfect. But if I hover over, let's say, this pet, I don't have all those price sources. There isn't information for all of that. All I have is market value and region and global market value. So if I was to use this custom price source just the way it is and hook it up into an operation for this pet, it would fire me off very, very bad 
uh, results. Um, just because when it gets to these sale averages, it's going to be zero. And averaging numbers with zero is very bad. So I'm just going to put in some fail safes by using the first um, operation. And to show you how to do that, I'm going to leave this first part DB market just the way it is. And all these other four, I'm going to put in fail safes as a backup. And by doing that, I'm going to put in first and parentheses. And after the DB region market average, I'm going to put a comma and DB market. Now, what this is doing right here, if you'll see, is the first function, the way that this works is anything in this parentheses, it's going to check this price source first. If it has a valid number that's not zero, it's going to use it. If it pulls this number and it's zero, it's going to go to the next number. And it'll check this. And if this isn't zero, it's going to use this. So we're just making a fail, a, a fail safe. Excuse me. So if it checks for the DB region market average and it has a value of zero, it's just going to default and use the DB market. So we'll have DB market in here a few times, but it's not going to mess up really our numbers. It's still going to be a good average. And I'm just going to do the same thing for the rest of these price sources. Now, I am going to default them to... Um, two different numbers for the last few like this one I want to do first and I do want it to do the region sale average first and then I'm going to do comma and if that number isn't there I want it to find the DB region market average and if that number is not there I want it to default back to DB market and end the parentheses there so I'm going to, to repeat that for the next two first I want it to check for my global market average and then db region market average and db market and next one and the last one actually db global sale average db region market average and db market it's kind of a lot of information but there now, we're almost done. We've taken just our small code and we've made it a little bit bigger. That way we have a nice fail safe for when we get items like this that don't have all the pricing information. It's going to fall back to what we want and still give us good information because I only want to make one of these price sources. I don't want to have 10. And then I'm going to add one more thing at the end. And I'm going to add the vendor sell price. So... What this is going to do is it's going to average all these numbers and then it's going to add the vendor sell price to it so I never, I know I'm never going to post anything underneath what it's going to vendor for. So for instance, this item vendors for 95 silver and 39 copper. So after it adds all these price sources together, it's going to add that to it at the end. Now we have to put a fail safe in for this as well because some items do not have vendor sell prices. For example, this pet you cannot go to the a vendor and sell this uh, item to the vendor so if you were to hook this price source up to this pet it's going to throw you an error and TSM is going to be yelling at you telling you that it's invalid price source uh, so what we do to uh, fail safe this is we're going to use the max function which is going to take anything in this parentheses find the one with the maximum value and use that so we'll have vendor sell and then comma and I'm just going to do one copper so 1c and the parenthesis and enter now what this is going to do is if it if this checks for the vendor sell price and it's zero it's going to use the next item which is one copper so and that's what we want to use and you could use a first function here as well it wouldn't really make a difference because if vendor sell returns zero it would use one copper i just use max it's really doesn't matter which one you use and that's my price source. Now, to implement this into a, a group, I will like I will change this to pets. Now, let me see. I will show you an example. Inspirations, auction. Uh, excuse me, groups, pets. 
Now I use this one to one seventy. Now if we look at one to one seventy post, you can see here I just have seventy percent of mankind. If I didn't have it set up like that, I would literally have to type in I would literally have to type in in every box all of this. I really don't want to do that. I have it here, so I can just type in mankind as my source, and that pulls all of this information. So if I want to change this to 70% of test, and I hit OK, it's not going to give me an error. It's still going to pull up the same numbers as before. Um, I change this to 40%. It's going to change. You'll notice on the bottom of my tooltip where it has my minimum number, it's at 10,250. I change this back to 70%. It's now at 17.9 because I, I adjusted that percentage. But it's going to give me a more real value. And that's really all there is to using custom price sources, guys. Um, I will post my custom price source in the description below so you guys can see it. Um, they're kind of confusing at first. You know, don't be scared of them. It's a lot of information you're typing into here. But when you break it down, all we're really doing is averaging together five numbers and then adding the vendor sale price to it. And we're using that for all of our auctioning operations. This is what I use. I have good, I have good results with it. And I never really post anything for a lot less than what it is. The only time you might see things get construed is when somebody really goes and inflates your market value. Like, for example, if all these prices were at, let's say this item was worth 100 gold and all the price sources said 100 gold except for the market value was at like 10,000, it's going to throw your values off a lot. But that's, that's just the nature of the game. Um, but if this video helped you guys out at all, please feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, I hope you guys really do use a custom price source. It will help you a lot. It'll make your auctioning a lot easier and your values will be a lot more average. Um, thanks again, guys, uh, for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one.